So another feature that we have uh, is something called uh, quick nodes. So um, essentially a lot of the time there's kind of transient or temporary information that you kind of want to dump somewhere. And so uh, typically people will create something like a, you know, like an inbox.org file or an inbox.txt file or just some, uh, you know, temporary text file or you even use their clipboard manager to just kind of store lots of uh, information or maybe put the note in a temporary directory. Uh, but the, the idea is basically bits of information that you kind of want to record, you know, maybe some interesting uh, web URLs you want to look at uh, or something you want to look into or just quickly jot down a telephone number or an email or some piece of temporary and transient information that you're going to deal with a file later you know uh, you're either going to delete it or you're going to do something with it properly um, but you don't want to lose it and you don't want to interrupt your current flow and you don't want something so heavyweight as to create have to think about and set up um, an entire kind of note or file all neatly organized you, you just literally want to have some way quick to dump it and very easy to kind of retrieve it and so that's exactly what the quick note facility for is so let, let's go ahead and demonstrate that so if we um do wibble quick note um and we want to uh if i just run the command it will specify that the fact that we don't have one existing yet um, so let's go ahead and add an entry. So with a quick note, add, and then it just says enter description for section. So this can just be literally anything to help you recall what it is. So it might be um, some interesting URLs to look at later, let's say. Uh, and it creates this kind of uh, file with this kind of uh, section kind of header, this unique kind of block here. And the idea is you just put whatever information you want underneath, you know, look, look at, you know, uh, food.org, uh, buy laundry liquid, I don't know, whatever information you want to dump in here. And then you uh, write that out and quit. Uh, and... Um, you know, you can just very quickly add bits of information in there. So let's add another one. Um, so, you know, summary of uh, work, um, you know, uh, afternoon 27th of uh, November. Uh, and again, you can just put work done XYZ, did this, did, did that, you know, something like that. So we've got a couple of entries there. Uh, so obviously if you use meaningful descriptions, uh, just some kind of uh, useful keywords, that's really going to help you. Uh, because basically if we do Wibble Quick Note this, you get a listing of all those kind of uh, entries. Uh, and obviously you might want to be able to um, view a particular one. Um, so let's have a look at that. Some interesting URLs and add that in there. If you want to have a look at number two. So you can quickly dump out to your terminal the bits of information you're after. So it's just like a very, very lightweight, um, all in a single file, uh, way of recording a stream of uh, bits of information that's kind of chunked in a convenient uh, way to access. Uh, you can, of course, um, delete a particular entry. Um, so let's remove that summary of work. So it just ask for confirmation and it's removed that. And so now if we go back to doing our list, as you can see, there's only one there. Um, let's add another one in there again. Um, so again, you know, as I say, if you're kind of systematic with the kind of titling of these sections, that could really help you, um, uh, you know, work. Um, need to look at XYZ uh, on, uh, you know, um, uh, November 27th. And so it adds that section there and you can, you know, some information here. Um, and so on and so forth. Now, one of the things you might have noticed is obviously we need to 
enter the actual entry underneath these kind of blocks. So we have these kind of three, you know, these, these blocks here, we have this block here, and uh, basically everything underneath that block is the actual um, content uh, for that section. Now, it's quite convenient um, if your editor actually takes you right to the bottom of the file because it, it keeps appending new entries uh, to the file and so really we want the editor kind of cursor to be right there at the kind of entry that we're interested in. Now most decent, oops, uh, most decent editors allow you to actually not only open a file but also specify the line number so you remember we set up this uh, a wibble configuration file if we now go back and edit that you'll see we have this um, editor line here now vim for example and you can do this with the umax and i'm sure you can do it with countless other editors allows you to specify plus and then a uh, line number to go to and if you set this to some arbitrarily large value, it will always basically end up at the end of the file. So if I put, you know, 100,000 or you could even put a million, you know, unless your file has more than that, it's always going to end up right at the end. Um, so let's write that out. And now if I do um, let's add another section again, another section to demonstrate, you can see we're right where we want to be and we can you know, start typing our entry here. Uh, finally, you know, you can just dump out the entire content if you want to view it all quickly. And by default, your uh, quick notes will go in that defined uh, quick notes uh, kind of file. So, I'm going to just to show you the configuration file again. Um, here we go. So, we have this quick note directory and this quick note file so this one here is your your default and and by the way if you rather than specifying uh, specifying uh, a, a quick note file ending in .txt if you specify ending in .md or .org it will basically work exactly the same way but it will enclose those kind of um, section dividers in kind of a, a markdown or an org, org mode kind of verbatim block uh, so that means if you want to actually at some point open it in uh, Emacs or uh, view the markdown file you know uh, kind of rendered uh, in some markdown editor you, you can still do so and it won't interfere with the way that the quick notes uh, works but I'm just demonstrating it in plain text mode kind of the, the default but just be aware, Markdown, Orgmo, and ASCII doc, those three, if you use the corresponding extension, so MD, ORG, and uh, ADOC, it will automatically enclose those section blocks in the relevant kind of verbatim kind of quotation kind of uh, uh, formatting kind of instructions. So that was kind of a, a note on that. And one final thing to add is we have this default quick note file but there's nothing stopping us we can have as many quick note files as we like so if you wanted to for example silo uh, quick notes for a uh, work project or work from you know, your kind of general ones or you could even have 10 different quick note files because you're basically using them as like a running journal or running log of something you can do that basically the only difference is you just specify the um, the, the file uh, as a kind of argument so if I specify wibble quick note file uh, demo and now add it warns me that this file doesn't exist so it's initializing it and um, this is a new entry in demo quick note file and as you can see we have this uh, you can see at the bottom of the editor here it's put it in uh, demo so you know you could have whatever you like in all of these ones and you know they're all completely separate so there's our file demo um, and if I just uh, leave the argument so it displays the default there's our kind of original one there 
and if we run that we can see the available initialized quick note files so we have demo and we have inbox.txt so you know if you want to have 25 different quick note files and just use them as 25 different uh, dumping grounds for 25 separate streams of information then this is a very quick way to do it and it gives you the ability to immediately add and delete sections so as I say, the, the real idea behind it is for transient, non-permanent information um, that you know, you're going to file and sort later properly uh, uh, and anything you want to retain, you'll properly kind of organize in a permanent file. Um, you know, repeatedly kind of deleting and editing sections on one single file is always a slightly um, less reliable way of storing really important information. but. Um, so yeah, the, hence hence the word kind of quick note. It's literally just for jotting down temporary blocks of information.